Hi guys, welcome back to our channel Code Circuit. In this video, we will be continuing with our C++ playlist. And the next topic that we are going to discuss today will be variables in C++. Okay. So before starting this video, I would like to request all of you to please like and share our videos with your friends and family. And if you really like the content that we are uploading in our channel, then please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that to receive notifications regarding our latest updates. Okay, thank you. So without any more delay, let's get started. Uh, let me go to my C line ID, and here I have already created a C file called variables in C. Okay, and let's start with the concept. So, what do you mean by a variable? Okay, variables are actually one of the fundamental concepts in programming languages and C++ is no exception. So let's define a variable in very simple manner. A variable is actually a named memory location that stores a value. Okay. In C++, you can declare a variable with a specific data type. So a variable is actually a container which stores some data depending on the type of data. The type of data is actually called data type. We will be talking about data types in our next video and I will be giving you a very brief and elaborate description on the ty types of data that we deal with in C++. Okay, so let me create a simple file here. Right click file and this will be notes and important points. Okay, so here as I said variable is actually a container or memory location okay where we store what let me write it in capital here we store data and the data will be depending on the type of data which is called data types okay we will talk about data types in our next video don't worry about that but you should know about the concept of variables then only we will be going ahead with the concept of data types okay so in c++ as i said we can declare a variable which can have the data types such as integer we can have double we can have cat we can have boolean etc okay there are lots of them we'll discuss properly in the next tutorial today it's about variables so we'll be sticking to that don't worry about that and let us go back to our C++ file now and here let me give you an example, okay? Let me show you how you can declare an integer variable. So here I will simply say int x. This is the keyword int. Right. Now here I have just declared the variable, okay? I have not initialized with any value. A variable stores values, right? So int is the keyword and x is the name of the variable, okay? Now here I can assign values to it. So if I say x equal to 10, that is the integer data type. Okay, got it? Now, so this is called declaration. And let me give a comment here. And this is called assignment. Fine. So in the line number 5, we are actually declaring a variable of the data type int. And then in the line number six, we are assigning the value of 10 into the variable x. Okay. So here, this equal sign that you see here is called the assignment operator. We'll be talking about that in the operator section very soon. Okay. So now, if you want to print the value of x, you can simply say C out the value of x is. And then you can simply print x and if you want to give end line, you can also do it like this. Okay, so let's run this and check whether we are able to get the value of 10 or not. I'm running this. Yep, you can see guys, we have the correct output, the value of x is 10. Okay, this is how you can declare an integer data type. Now, let us see how we can declare a double variable. Okay. So simply I will say double y and here I will say y is equal to 
any value you can take okay so double is a decimal data type which will have floating point values we will talk about that properly in the data type section as i have been already telling you but for the time being you just understand that it is actually floating point or decimal values okay we have double we have long we will talk about that okay so this is the again declaration so let me copy this line here okay and again this line will be the assignment here okay got it makes sense and similarly if you want to display the value of y you can simply do it like this the value of y is y guys and one more thing i need to remind you is that there's no harm in copy pasting your code because the end target for us is to save our time and make our code more efficient okay so if you are copy pasting some lines from your code and replicating something in a different way that's a good practice it's not wrong okay so the more you make your code efficient the more you save time the more you are advancing in the right direction right so that's what you should be always targeting okay so in this one as i said i am declaring a value or variable of the double data type then i am initializing or assigning the value of 3.12567 and then i am trying to print the value of y let's run this and check if we get both the values or not okay you can see here i am getting the current value of y also fine now let us see how we can use a simple operator here okay suppose i take two integer values and how we can use the plus operator to find the sum okay so i'll simply say int a is equal to 10 comma b is equal to 20 okay you can also do like this that means you can declare the variable and also assign at the same line okay and you can do multiple declaration and assignments in the same line by separating the variables using a comma okay simple as that now i can say in c is equal to a plus b okay here I am using the plus operator. Fine. Now after that, let us try to print the sum. The value of C is C and N line. Sorry, this directional arrow should be in this side. And it will be N line. Okay. Now obviously a and b values are 10 and 20 and then I have c equal to a plus b. So it will be 10 plus 20 that is 30. Let's try to print this and check whether it is working or not. I'm running this. Yes, guys, you can see that the value of c is 30. It's working fine, right? So these are simple examples where you can see that I'm declaring variables x, double y and based on the data type, the variables can hold different kind of values, okay? And yes, guys, these are just a few examples of how to use variables in C++. By understanding the concept of variables and how to declare and use them, you can write more complex programs that perform a wide range of tasks. Okay. So this was a simple demonstration. I hope you have understood it and liked it. If you have any doubts regarding this, you can post your doubts in the comment section. I'll be very happy to clarify all those doubts. And at the same time, if you like this video, please don't forget to Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that you receive notifications regarding all latest updates. Okay, thanks a lot. Till the next video, this is Saurabh signing off. Bye-bye and happy learning.